Well, hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome to another Minecraft Animals Showcase. Yes, we're in 1.16.4, and another uh, animal mod, which I've been asked to do. Oh, did you hear that? That's the bees going into the bees. I thought it was, anyway. And behind us, guys, you can see one of the animals from this wonderful Alex's Mob mod. Uh, Alex's Mobs, it's been around for a while, but it's uh, fully available for 1.16.4. So if you're playing with the latest version, it's really good because it also works with the mod that we reviewed last time, which was the uh, Exotic Bird mod. So it's freely compatible with other mods. Anyway, without further ado, the seal is there because it was nearby. And it sounds wonderful, so I thought I'd show with this off first of all, guys. I'll show it off again. But it does, it just basks in the sun, makes lots of noise. And there's another one over here which swims. And look at this swimming animation. Look at this. It is really good. There's a dolphin there for Minecraft. Yeah, and it comes to, uh, they come and investigate, by the way. Oh my god, it sounds underwater as well. But it is, it's just, I could just sit here watching the seals glide around. And it's great to see mods and add-ons that do this. And the an animations of this are really good. So uh, this is uh, by Alex, the 1666, who's the owner. And Caro, 1001 Twitch, who's the artist. Uh, as I say, there's 28 creatures, including creatures in the Never and the End. Although I don't think we're going to go to the End. We'll go to the Never, probably, to show you the creature in situ. Oh, the second seal has come in. See, that seal was just basking around, and now they just come out. What? You know, if you've got a zoo... Oh, did you see that? Oh, my God. Uh, if you've got a zoo and a water park, wow. You could build a brilliant exhibit for these. So it comes out, look at that, and then just sort of lies down in the sun like normal seals do. It's just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And what happens is, you probably notice, these spawn all the way around the world. So as you walk around in survival, you will come across these creatures. Some are very dangerous and some are not. Here's another one, uh, the fly, <laughs> which we'll come to. Uh, as we do. So without further ado, guys, let's show you 28 creatures. Uh, we're in Minecraft 16.4. We're in Forge 3501 because I've got shaders on. I'm using uh, Chocopic shaders and I'm also using uh, 64 by 64 texture pack. All the information, guys, is in the description. Uh, also, head over to the Deck Mod download page on Forge because there's a load of information there. But before then, what you go is you get this book, the Animal Dictionary, and it tells you. So I'm not going to go into all the details. We're here to show the animals. Uh, and it shows, so the Roadrunner, <clears throat> and you get these boots. So nearly all the animals drop stuff, uh, and they give you special rewards. Some give you absolutely nothing or a little rubbish. But uh, yeah, most of the creatures do do drops and getting faster boots like that Roadrunner was was superb. So let's get cracking and we'll start with the grizzly bear. So they've all got different things. I'm only going to show some of them, but I know the grizzly bear is really good. The grizzly bear steals honey, just like in real life, uh, and then eats honey. So let's just show you the grizzly bear. We're in 4K, guys, so turn your settings up. If you've got 1440p screen or 4K, uh, you can still see it. It still looks good in 1080p, guys, but to make sure you've got your settings up top. Here we go. The grizzly bear. Ah, it's off. Oh, yes. It's raiding, and there we go. That is so cool. And you can actually feed the grizzly bear uh, fish as well, although the taming mechanism doesn't seem to work. Ah! <laughs> uh, oh! The bees have come out and then the bees attack the grizzly bear. Oh my god. I don't blame you attacking the grizzly bear. It raided your raided your thing. Yeah, well there we go. I think they had enough or they're just gonna chase the grizzly bear now till the end of its life. I don't know. They're really cool. I like that. So anyway, there's the grizzly bear. Uh, I'm just trying to think now. Hold on. The, in, the, in the wild, guys. Ooh, let me just see if I can. Yes, babies. If you click down, 
So if you click down and click on the creature, you will get babies, or click on the babies, you'll get babies. I'm sorry, I put the sound up so you can hear the sounds, because the sounds are really good. But look at those little babies. Aren't they cute? They are. They are cute. I wonder if I can just... No, you have to press the... Press the animal. Press the animal, click on the animal. There we go. Right, they're noisy. Uh, gazelle. Now, gazelles are usually found in the savannah area. Uh, you, you'll be very tough to f catch a gazelle because they run very fast when approached in. So let's just put some down, guys. Put some gazelles down and then we'll put some babies down because we like to see babies, don't we? They are cute. And, and what happens is if you approach them in, in uh, survival, they will run off. So it'll be very hard to catch them, to get them for their drops. Oh, there's a fly. Why did flies come in? Because you can. Why not put flies in Minecraft? We've got bees. So why don't we put some other f creatures that we have everywhere? Uh, right, crocodile. Oh, wow. So the crocodile, guys, has uh, a wonderful attack animation. Let me just bring this out. Oh, 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 oh. And a swimming animation. So I, I, I don't think it will attack me. It will attack me in, oh, I wonder if I put it next to a villager, what happens? <laughs> uh, will it attack a villager? No, don't think it will. It won't attack a villager, but when it attacks you, in fact, shall I, shall I, I don't want to die, no, because I'll, there we go, it's attacking it, look, it's going to drag the villager into the water, here we go, the poor villagers had it, into the water, uh, oh, so, that is really cool, so watch out guys, if you see a crocodile in this mod, uh, stay away, otherwise it'll pull you all the way back into the water, that is just amazing, wow. Right, next up, the lowland, oh, I'll call it a lowland gorilla, and it's getting dark. Let's put the gorilla over here. Let's go for the gorillas. Now, the gorillas, I can't remember what they... Hello. They do all sorts of animation. Let's have some babies here. Oh, did you see that pat in its chest? So, what, oh, the baby's on the back. Oh, my God, look at that. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, and they get born with a baby. Oh, no, the baby has just jumped on. Did you see that? So if we put one down, I have the babies on the back. That is just amazing. And you can feed them as well. Uh, I forgot what the feed. Let's just say, let's get rid of that a minute. Let's do that. Uh, let's go and select the book. So if we go crocodile, hummingbird, next page, gorilla. There it is, gorilla. Gorillas can become more trustful and friendly, given bananas. Well, I should have thought of that, shouldn't I? It's a bit silly, really, guys. So let's go and get some bananas. And you're going, bananas? Right, let's see. Shall we go? Do we feed them? No, we drop them. Oh, yes. There you go. <laughs> absolutely brilliant oh now it loves me <laughs> go away <laughs> right uh, oh rattlesnake gorilla spawn rattlesnakes are very dangerous if you find them in survival uh, they will attack you if you get too close wrong wrong that's not a rattlesnake this is a rattlesnake oh wow oh wow and you can kill them and get something from them as well, I'm sure. Oh, wow. Really impressive. Really impressive. I say this is this mod is very strong on animations and stuff. Uh, Komodo dragon. We might also have this over here. Ah, I know. We need to bring a bird out. Komodo dragons. Do we get babies? Yes, we do, guys. Oh my gosh, look at those. Oh! Oh my god, they're attacking the baby. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh dear. Oh dear, we don't like that. 
so the bird here, let me just go and get the bird. We'll get rid of this now. Wish we've seen those. Get rid of those. Now, is it the Roadrunner? Dun, 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 Roadrunner. Is it the Roadrunner? If you put the Roadrunner down, the Roadrunner is immune to the poison. Let me just go. Is it the Roadrunner? Yes, there you go. The Roadrunner is immune to the poison. And will attack it and kill the snake, I think. So that's amazing, guys. Let's just do this. The Roadrunner. And little babies. <gasps> Wow, the snakes don't stand a chance. So that is like, that's what you get extra animations in this. Right, the reason, another thing I want to show you about the Roadrunner is of course, we have two Roadrunners available to us now because if you put Roadrunner in now, because I've got similar color egg, uh, we've got the exotic birds version. So I just wanted to compare with that because we did do a full review on exotic birds. Let's just see what it looks like. Probably end up attacking it. So it is completely different. I like because so you can now have two varieties of Roadrunner. So I wonder if this one attacks the Roadrunner. The snake will kill that one. That is really good. So exotic birds. And the same mechanics. Little baby. Love that. I love we got two different types of Roadrunner. I think that's brilliant. Right, let's get away from that noise, guys. Let's get back to what we were here for. Right, okay, uh, Capuchin, oh, Capuchin Monkey, let's go over here. These are rather small and cute. Have you noticed, like all the good mods now, they've got proper noises. They're very cute, isn't it? Very, very cute. Very cute indeed. Uh, right, the elephant. What's a who oh, we haven't got to those yet, but you'll see them elephant big elephant Oh wow And then a baby elephant <gasps> And it's got different noises it reminds me very much of the mo creatures elephant, which we like a lot So let's just do another one. I see an Indian elephant as well with a big ears of course Big ears Indian elephant. Oh, oh making noises so the little baby has little noises and the big one has big noises but i'm sorry about that sound turn up so oh yes there's the shaking absolutely brilliant what's it look like in the water Brilliant. See all the different animations it's got? It's absolutely excellent. Right, warped toad. You might as well stay with the water down here. A warped toad. Oh my god, it's. Oh, this is. Uh... Ah, this is not supposed to be in this world. This is in the. I thought to this, it's in the war in the nether. In the nether. Right, so that's a big toad. We'll go to the nether afterwards at the end. Right, next batch of creatures then. So we'll take go to the end of it. They're still quite cute and they do swim. So there's no water in the nether, is there? So in fact, that's quite interesting that we have them out here. Yes, that's all right, isn't it? We're quite happy, quite big. Quite a big creature anyway to have what you want. Right, so next up, this is one this is one of my favorite mobs already this is so good guys this is absolutely brilliant look at this creature oh it doesn't it's got to be in the cave we've got to be in a cave it's a cave it disappears above ground we've had this before haven't we <gasps> right oh hold on Right, uh, let me find out about this. It might be the fact I'm in a different mode. So if I go back to settings, uh, options, normal mode. Yes. Right, okay, guys. So that, that we get that. But this is the best creature ever. This is just, this is like something out of a prehistoric, uh, oh, it's a primeval. This is primeval. Look at this. So it brings the caves alive and look at the animation. When it goes down blocks, it moves. 
It sort of goes up and down blocks. Can we get babies? And listen to that. Can we? Then we can't get babies. Wow. That is just awesome, guys. That is just absolutely brilliant. Look at that. That is literally like out of Primeval. Now, I haven't seen it. Does it actually rear up, guys? Look at that. I'm just looking to see what it does. Uh, it's also a big it's also a big beast when you find it. And you can get the leggings, which is like armor leggings. Oh, I'm just I just want to watch that all day. That is just brilliant. Superb. Really like that. Really cool creature to find in the caves. Right, uh, a moose. We haven't seen many mooses in Minecraft over the years. I, I think the, the 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 actual art, the actual moose itself looks really cool. I'm not so sure about the legs. <laughs> but there we go. Wow, this mod is superb. Oh my god, look at them all over there. Creepy crawlies just crawling around. Aren't they creepy? That is so good. Giant centipede. Right, raccoons. We saw those earlier on, didn't we? You saw them spawn naturally in the wild over here. In fact, we'll go head back over this way anyway, because the raccoons should be here. The elephants are still here, guys. Uh, the raccoons are down here. Wow. And the baby raccoons as well. It just brings, you know, for the fact that you can wander around and these spawn naturally, of course... Uh, the 1.64 animal mods are getting really, really good. Oh, look at the little babies following. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, oh, cockroaches. Uh, not the creature you'd expect to see in Minecraft, but they are cool. Look at that. Oh, they can make creepy noises. That is... Now, that as a bug goes, that is a top quality bug in it. That looks really good. Really impressive with that. And did you hear it made a noise? Or is that the frog making that noise? Probably was the frog. Wow. Absolutely brilliant, guys. Right. So we're on to the birds now. We saw one bird before. So we'll go and do the shoe bill. Ah, shoe bills. Shoe bills are found in here. Let me just check. Shoe bills are found in the swamps, if I'm correct. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's have a baby. Oh, no, you can't have babies. You can have creatures, but not the... No, you can't have babies. Listen to that noise, the shoe bill noise. They catch fish and stuff. And I did see them before. When you wander around the world, we found, found shoe bills. I found shoe bills in the swamp. But this is the second swamp that there is in the area, so and they sort of just they were just, they were just walking around on the edge, which was really cool, really cool. I like the new swamps with the shaders. Swamps are now nice uh, with the shaders; they're not as horrible as they used to be. But there we go. Right? Uh, oh, flies! You've seen flies. I think it'd be good if they just spawned around the swamp. Oh. Oh, oh my God! It, oh, hello! You were hiding there. I didn't see you. Do you eat flies? Will you eat flies? Wow! So you can see the crocodile. We didn't see that before, or hear it. But that is impressive. So don't go down to the swamps because you'll find flies. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Scary as hell, guys. Crocodiles and flies and stuff like that. Really cool, really cool. Uh, right, hummingbirds. Favourite birds, guys. We've seen these before, of course. So, these are the hummingbirds from this mod. Oh my gosh. Oh, the wings. <gasps> what are they doing with the grass? Were they, oh, they were pollinating the flowers, were they? Yes. 
pollinating the flowers. So again, guys, uh, I'm going to do this because I can. Uh, we've got the exotic birds mod, hummingbirds as well, to compare, which are different. So again, you can have like smaller hummingbirds and big hummingbirds. Oh, they're also, you know, a few different. Oh, look at that. That is excellent. I think that's to have the sound in it is amazing. Like it. Right. A sunbird. All oh, right. The sunbird are a very rare creature. Uh, and in fact, what I will do is I will highlight another showcase that I watched, which is really informative. Uh, go and give him uh, a watch. Uh, also, because it tells you a lot more about the animals than I'm telling you. But the songbird. Uh, in the tall mountains now this isn't tall mountains oh my god there's an ice biome over there as well uh but this is a very special creature uh and if you you have to do something with the electra but it's like a for me it's like a <laughs> it's just amazing guys uh it's just like a, a phoenix but it's just amazing and it flies really high guys uh, and uh, you can get powers off it to fly faster. So I'll go and read up about that because it's quite technical. Uh, but doesn't it look amazing? So what you do though is don't attack it, I think, because you will drop like a stone and your Electra wings will not work. But hey, you got to find one first. And by all accounts, they're really hard to find. I haven't found one. And Wow. A brilliant addition. Oh, I've been, oh, I've been, I've got the stuff, whatever it is it's given me. So that was the sunbird. In fact, let's have a quick, we should actually go and have a quick look, shouldn't we? In the book to see what it says about the sunbird. Sunbird, mythical crane can be found tall mounds completely passive sunbird can grant blessing to any player that can reach it if they're blessed by the sunbird you can find it easy to fly with electra you can calmly float up and down and accelerate speed however if you attack it a curse will be allied so that's i was right it just it just explains what it is really cool really cool guys right so we've got what have we got left the hummingbird we've done the sunbird with sunbird why didn't well we got to that's the other hummingbird. So what we'll do now, guys, is show you the next batch of creatures. So it's very handy we've got a nice area because I found some polar bears and I'm going to show you what, what particular creature does with polar bears. So that's really cool. Uh, a blobfish. Uh, a blobfish is like a blobfish. Just a blobfish. Uh, you only find blobfish in really deep areas, so I haven't been down to the deep areas of the ocean. They don't. They're not. They're not like. Uh, they're not like. They're in the deep, so I don't know. Oh gosh, that scared me, of course, because this is Minecraft 16.4. Uh, yeah, so I don't know how you would find them because it's pretty damn dark down here, guys. Right, let's get out of here. So blobfish are found in the de depths of the water. I'm trying to get out. This is quite deep. I'm surprised we didn't see any. Uh, which is a very particular new creature I've never come across. But there you go. Blobfish. It's cute. I think it does something. I think you, you get something from it. But there we go. Right. Right. The orcas. So we've got these orcas. I was watching them earlier on. I found an orca. So let's just do one away from the polar bear, first of all. Because they attack polar bears. Like in real life. Oh my god, don't say. It. So we've got orcas. Oh, it's going. So the orcas jump. They swim. And they attack polar bears. Uh, if once it smells or... So, oh, here we go. Here we go, guys. Oh, douche. And it jumps out and attacks the polar bear. I don't give the polar bear much chance. Oh my god. Polar bears. Oh, polar bear's trying to... Oh, it's gone. It ate the polar bear. See? I'm glad we're able to show that. So, be very careful with the orcas. But they are very, very cute swimmers. Uh, very nice. And they swim around and jump out and go on the top of the water. 
So, but I like that attacking mechanism of the polar bears. Right. So, seals. I wonder if I put seals over here, they would attack the seals. <gasps> white ones. Oh my God, on the ice, they are white. I never knew that. So, can, will they get attacked by the orca? Will it attack them? So, on the ice, they are white seals, which is quite imp impressive, because over here, guys, on the land, we've already seen them. They're brown seals. Oh, I want to make sure it doesn't. Yeah. So those are seals. I wonder if the orcas do attack them. Where's this orca over here? It's gone. Right, let's bring back an orca here. Let's just see if anything. Because usually orcas attack seals as well, but maybe they don't. No, maybe not. My God, that seal's like, they're going mad. Or is, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, it's not attacking it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's attacked the ice. Maybe it does. So that's really impressive. I've not seen the white seals before. So that's really cool that you can have the white ones on the ice and the brown ones on the normal land. Lobster. Don't know much about lobster. It's quite cute. So we'll go over here and show it you. This is the lobster. It moves. It is very cute. And it looks very good. Oh, a blue one. Oh my God, there's a blue one. Now I should have, oh, there's a red one. Oh my God, that's me. <laughs> and you got orange ones. Or oh, was that wasn't a blue one, was it? That was just something weird that happened. No. Yeah. Oh, there is a blue one. Right. Let's just do that again, guys. Ah, there is a blue one. Wow. That's good. It's like there is obviously diamorphism in the. Uh, Wow, blue one. Right, okay, we're getting all sorts of exciting things out. So the hammerhead. Hammerhead. One of my favourite sharks, guys. Uh, so hammerhead is a passive creature, although if your health is below a certain level and you swim in the water, guess what? It will attack you. That's it. Yeah, that will attack you. But they're really cute. Swimming around. I would like to see these... Ho, 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 ho. Very good. Right, that is really good. This has got lots of impressive things. Right, guys, so we are now on to the... We'll go to the Never. That's what we're going to do. Uh, and then show you these creatures in the Never. I won't be going to the end, sadly, I will, because that's the way it works. But I will go to the Never. Right, guys, we're in the uh, Never. And, uh, gosh... I, it's scary as hell. I've not been in here for years. I used to play survival, but oh my god, and all the noises and stuff. But there's one of those creatures here. Uh, it disappeared again. It was swimming round. So what I'm going to do, guys, is it was literally here, and you could hear it. Where's it gone? Oh, it's here. Under here. So these are, must be really hard to find. Oh, there it is. Bone serpent. There it is. There, did you see it? Did you see it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn uh, another one. Oh, look at this. This is just amazing to have like bone serpents in here. Let's just put it on here. Oh. Imagine being in the never and coming across this in survival. It scared the living daylights out of you. It's a really weird world, this. I was blocked in rock for ages and then I found it. There we go. There's the, there's what's next. Oh, and the next creature's here as well. So let's just put the serpent down here. Right. So we'll put them in there because they're so cool. I don't know how you would ever try and kill one in survival. I really don't know. Uh, so this is the Crimson Mosquito. And you notice that they spawned here. These are awful. They uh, latch onto you and basically 
it will go on your face like an alien from like a face hugger from alien and we don't know how to get them off uh you do not want to let them go on to you guys because you can't get them off i don't know how it works uh, but they are evil creatures. This reminds me of if you ever played the Erebus mod. In fact, I need to do a review of that because we haven't done it. The Erebus, Erebus mod completely changes the Nether, which is really good. But these these are everywhere, aren't they? Horrible creatures. So you wouldn't want to uh, you wouldn't want to come across these because they latch onto your face and they then do it like a face hugger. Uh, but you need something to kill them. Have a look at you there. They are evil creatures. Evil. Uh, Vulture Spawn Egg. These are the best never creatures ever. Wow. Wow. Do they go in the lava as well? They are just the best. Oh. I thought. Oh my god. They are so good. He's so talented if you're watching this i really like it really this is just like oh there's the creature again i wonder if they no, they wouldn't attack that would they the bone serpent is here wow 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 uh oh gosh listen to that and i'll put these yes these are quite happy do they are they all right or do they burn don't really know but uh, I, I hope they're from the Never guys. I haven't found anybody. Oh, look at this. Yeah, sorry. I haven't played 1.64. I just like build stuff and do showcases. It's all good fun. Uh, so probably got that wrong, but uh, I haven't found any frogs yet. Maybe, but they seem to be like a Never frog. Ah, that's the blue flame. There we go, anyway. Dead cute. Sorry, I've got shaders on, guys. That's why it looks like this. But there we go. Right, so, the things... I'm not going to go to the end, but there is two end creatures. There's the Minmi spawn egg cube, which I'll do here. Yeah, it also quite happily lives down here as well, but it's an end creature. Mini cube, Mimi cube. I'm sure it is an end creature. I can't remember now. It's like a, it's just like a slime. Oh, I put those frogs there, didn't I? <laughs> I was just going to say, I put the frogs there. Wow, that's a really cute kitchen. And finally, but not least, the Endergrade. But this is like a Tardigrade. If you watch Star Trek Discovery like I do into my Star Trek and stuff, there's a thing called the Tardigrade. And this is called an Endergrade. It literally looks like the Tardigrade from that series. And, it, and basically, you can put a saddle on it. In fact, can I put a saddle on it on here? That would be a bit, a bit... Can I actually do that? It might die here. Uh, and Yes, you can. So you can, you can ride it. Oh, that's horrible, that mosquito. Is it attacking it? Oh, oh, it is. It's latched onto it. It's going to kill it. Oh, my God. Did you see that? It's just, oh. It's spitting and attacking them. And then it latches on. Did you see it latch on? That's wow. Hmm, they're really horrible creatures, but they're really nice, dear world. I tell you, it makes the it makes the never and the end a really horrible place to go if it wasn't horrible already. But there we go. Uh, I think that's it, guys. Uh, big thank you uh, to the mod creators Alex and Caro. Uh, really impressed. Keep up the good work. It's a really impressive mod. It's one of those things that if you're in one point sixteen point four forge, you shouldn't be without this mod. So a great, a great. Uh, oh, I thought that was it again. Yeah, a great mod. All oh, right. Wow. Well, I've never done that in my life. That's always a first in Minecraft, guys. Hot tourist. Well, there we go. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed that video. Uh, I'll say go and check out the video description because it gives you uh, the information you need. Uh, and uh, how to download it and where to download it and it gives you lots of other info as well so all good a green forest as well thank god for that 
we like green forests. Thanks very much indeed. I'll see you next time. Please comment. Is there, are there any 1.16.4 mods that you'd like to me to review as well? I'm having a look to see what there is. There are many coming out. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.